Good morning. I decided that I wanted to do a little self-care morning before I got to work. And so I decided to do a treatment on my hair. Now, what I normally do is I'll use a different mask every single time that does different things. But this time I wanted to put in some castor oil. Now, this helps with growth and just overall silkiness of your hair. So I like to put it right on the roots especially in different places where I'm constantly parting my hair because that can cause some hair loss in different areas. So I just go ahead, part it, put it on there, and then I will go ahead and kind of massage it in, but not just with my hands. I will use this cute little tool I have. So this is the tool, it's just a little scrubber brush. You can use it for your shampoo in the shower, but I like to use this with a mask or some oil just to further soak it in to my hair because I am just going to be letting it sit for a little while. So then after that, I'm using the Native hair mask and I got my hair wet before doing this and then, or wet or damp, and then I'm just going to be slathering this on. I think the more the better. So I like to just douse my hair in this mask from, I don't know, like a few inches off the roots to the ends, really focusing on the ends. And then I will tie it up in my cute little bun, put it in a hair clip. And then this day I went and I worked out for about an hour with it in before rinsing it out like normal. So yeah, that's my morning. And then we'll get into the rest of my day. So this is how my hair looks. It's feeling so good after the mask and oil. And now I'm just sitting on my floor because sometimes I just feel like I need grounding. You know, you ever feel that way? Like a weighted blanket sitting on like the ground preferably like the grass like out in nature but this will do for now i'm gonna have some pasta but i wanted to talk to you guys <sighs> once i catch my breath about how i'm feeling lately so there have been a few times recently when i've just felt extremely let down like when you are like really excited for something and you're like you know you don't go out and do things often like for me i don't do a ton so when i do make plans i get like really excited for them and then when like somebody doesn't want to go or they can't go or like things change it's like really disappointing and i know that's a me thing and it's not necessarily their fault for how i'm feeling i can still do the things myself but sometimes you just want people to go with but relying on people is hard because then they let you down and then you don't feel great. And so, yeah, I just feel like sometimes I can get lonely because having friends and people to do things with in adulthood is hard enough. And then when you do find someone to do something with, but they're like constantly just like letting you down, it's rough. And it makes you not want to do anything with them. And it's like, Maybe it's not always their fault. Maybe like real things do come up or they just like can't do it. Like I'm a very understanding person. I just feel like I can't really live my life because I'm always waiting for people to be able to do it with me or to want to do it with me or to like bring it up themselves because I don't want to feel too pushy. It's scary mentally to do things completely by yourself, but it's also scary just in this world to do things by yourself. So I was like a comfort person. <laughs> But a comfort person can't always be there. And so I think that this is just like something I need to do like internal work with. I don't think I've ever spoken to you guys about this before. But sometimes I feel like people in Kansas I don't fit in with. And I don't know if it would be any different anywhere else. But I'm just, there's a vast difference in how I am and how I believe my thoughts at least the people I'm around and have been around than people here in Kansas. I mean, I even went to this carnival one time in my hometown and people were literally like, you don't look like you belong here. My main problem though is the way people think here. People here get married young. You know, women want to be mothers or they want to be nurses or they want to be teachers. And again, nothing wrong with that. That is their life path, but it's not mine. And I don't, I don't want to be married young. 
I'm an independent person and it's gonna take a lot for me to get married. But that's like everybody that I know. And like my job, very odd for Kansas. Anytime I tell someone they're like, you do what? Because although it's become something that is more known and like, yeah, cool, you're an influencer. People here don't get that. They don't, they really don't. They're like, what in the world do you do? So there's no one to like talk about what I do to, you know, like have a friend that you can talk about and like have things in common with. And it's just, I don't know, like I don't feel like I have a community here. And I don't know if that means that I should like try somewhere else or just like try harder here to find those like-minded people. I was telling my mom about this and she was like, ever since you were little, you've told us like, you don't want to be in Kansas. Like Kansas isn't for you. Kansas is beautiful in some places, but it's that like, it's just not me, you know? And if I had the chance to live anywhere I want, should I? Yeah. Oh, Caesar has opinions. Come here. There he is. <laughs> so yeah, I guess it's just like ultimately my loneliness, my my lack of having anything but work. And then of course my family too. But sometimes you need like other people in your community other than your family, you know? Like what do you guys do when you're feeling lonely or feeling like you don't fit? And I've never been one that's like moldable. I've never been one that's willing to like change for other people or for my environment. I feel like here you kind of have to change for for the environment. It's what everybody does. Like there's there's no other, I don't know, it just doesn't seem like there's another path here. I don't know if any of this is going to stay in because I don't want it to sound like complaining. I have a great life, you know? It's just there are lonely moments when I feel like I've been let down. And I feel like it's just me. Like me, myself, and my cats. But I, just, I feel like there's more for me, I guess. But I don't know what. Okay. I also want to thank our sponsor, Dossier. You guys know I love Dossier perfumes. If you have not heard of them, they are basically luxury perfumes that are a fraction of the price. They use pretty much these same exact formulas, scents, and they make it into these very fancy looking bottles. These are even magnetic. They have so many different scents to choose from and on their website, they will kind of like tell you what's in them and what it's inspired by and you can get perfumes without it breaking your bank. This is my absolute favorite. You can tell I'm almost done with it. Ambry Saffron. Even if you want to buy the expensive perfumes, it's so nice to be able to have a perfume that smells good, that lasts a long time, that you can just spray all over and not have to worry about, oh, I'm using too much because it costs too much. You know what I mean? So yeah, if you'd like to try them out, then all you have to do is use my code brookmckenna 10 with a link down below and get some yourself. I forgot that I filmed footage of me making gluten-free no-bake cookies that are chocolate and peanut butter and I'll insert that here.
And so, you know how earlier I was talking to you guys about how I feel lonely, like I don't have a ton of people who are around me a lot. Well, and then I randomly got a call from my dad earlier this evening and he was like, hey, can I come over and hang out? And I was like, yeah, of course. And so he came over, we ate cookies, we watched a movie, we watched Uncharted, the one with Tom Holland, and he absolutely loved it. He'd never seen it before. So it was just like a good wholesome night. And it just, it's like the universe's way of telling me like, why am I getting emotional? Like, <laughs> it's like the universe's way of telling me like, no, you're not alone. Like you can feel lonely, but there are people who care about you around you. And so, yeah, I don't know, like I wanted to tell you guys that because if you're feeling the same way, I want you to know that there are people around you who care, I care, and I know that sometimes it can feel like you are all alone, but I guarantee- It cut me off, but all I was saying was that I guarantee that there are people who care, and please do not give up, please do not feel like you are alone in this life. There are people who love you, people who care, and you may not even know about them yet, you may not have met them yet, but they will come into your life and you will be surrounded by love, and by a community, and by comfort. But don't give up on trying to find those people or trying to get closer to those people in your life. That's all. So I actually got ready for once on a weekday and I'm going to go work at a coffee shop in a Barnes and & Noble and then look at the books and all that. Then I also have to go grocery shopping. So yeah, an eventful day and I'm out of the house. Look at me go. <laughs> nobody in here so I'm in the Barnes and Noble bathroom and I've been working in the Starbucks downstairs basically there was this guy that would not stop staring at me and I just had this really weird gut instinct so I texted my mom everything he looked like and I'm gonna call her once I actually do leave because he just would not stop staring and he kept moving different places to like look at me further and it may have been nothing but I just want this to be a reminder that a gut instincts it's never a bad thing it's just even if it's wrong even if it's anxiety still listen to it because you never know what your gut is trying to tell you so i don't know and i believe women have the best gut instincts in the world so yeah now i'm gonna go look at books <laughs> Okay, I made it out of there safely. That guy just really, he just, everywhere I looked, he was there, staring. And I just can't deal with that. So, talked to my mom all the way to the car. And I'm in here, I don't see him. We're good. But you never know. You just never know. Keep your eyes out, ladies. But I did buy a book. This one's called Violence or The Violence by Delilah S. Dawson. And it sounds so, so freaking good. It says, three generations of abused women must navigate their chilling new reality as a mysterious epidemic of violence sweeps the nation in this compelling novel of self-discovery, legacy, and hope. And um, at the bottom it says, a mysterious condition overtakes the nation known as the violence. It causes the infected to experience sudden explosive bursts of animalistic rage and attack anyone in their path. The ensuing chaos brings opportunity for Chelsea and inspires a plan to liberate herself and her family once and for all. Doesn't that sound incredible? I got some work done in there. I actually got a lot of work done in there. Just different like emails, things I had to do. I worked on a case. I don't know, it was, I, I normally get so anxious in places like that because I'm like on making sure that, you know, no creepy guys are watching me um, and just like making sure no one's like staring over my shoulder like, what is this girl doing researching murder? Like, I, you know, you just feel like you have to be like sitting there nicely. You can't be like slumped over like, oh, the whole time. And now I'm going to head to, I think Target to get some groceries. I don't like going to Target. Most of the time I'm a Walmart gal because it's the cheapest and and you know you can get what you can get there but they don't have a ton of gluten-free options and I find that Target does and so it's like honestly this is the only time when I wish that I had a boyfriend to carry all this up but no that's me
that's on me. We're volunteering to work with the little kitty room for anybody who wants to adopt them. So they're all from like a local shelter. And in order to adopt them or get them out and play with them, somebody from the shelter or a volunteer has to be there. So that's what we were going to do for a few hours today. Except the only problem is somehow our application, our name that it's like reserved under is Tummy. Like an actual tummy. <laughs> And we don't know why. So we're going in as tummy and tummy to help out. And if I can film anything and film the kitties, I will. Yay! So I loved getting to learn about the different personalities of these cats. And this little girl was so funny. She would stick her tongue out when she spoke to you. And then this guy was actually at the shelter for the first time and he just wanted to get out and play. He didn't know what was going on, but he was really happy. And then the next guy, he is a hugger and a cuddler, would literally come into your lap and just want to give you love. That was so much fun. We got to play with the kitties and I met a subscriber and I totally forgot to vlog with her because I was so flustered and awkward. So if you watch this, Samantha, hi, it was so nice to meet you. Yeah, it was a really good day. Now we're gonna go get ice cream. Look at our ice cream. We went to Cold Stone. I got a uh, melted mint ice cream with uh, Reese's and she got banana caramel crunch. Mmm. We had a great day, but I think I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me through my mess of a week. And let me know if you want me to continue posting vlogs, if you want me to show anything in particular, if you want me to do any other types of videos on this channel. Don't know what my hand is doing, but let me know. And I love you so much. Bye.